Yeah, you got to push up on this and take the dust bin out. That's really surprisingly effective dust collection, actually. Less so because I took the rubber thing out that was uh, surrounding the blade. This is kind of interesting. Oh, I see. This normally just lifts up on that. As you yeah. Know. That's kind of clever. Mm -hmm. You're an envy, I know. You love it. It's better than yours. For sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. No sad. <laughs> I guess this, you always have to make sure it's pointing at the right angle. I noticed it's pulling the blade to the left a little But that's the beauty of it because... Oh, yeah. I guess that way you don't have to make sure it's totally lined with the blade because every time you just kind of angle it so the blade is straight. Well, I mean, the blade, when it's under tension, it's going to be straight up and down anyway, right? Yeah, and if you want to cut like a bevel, you just kind of go like this. Oh, yeah. I just pull it aside there. Yeah, you get a, <laughs> at least a three-degree cut. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the blade guides are working out okay. The blade guides are working fantastic, yeah, actually. Pretty clever way of doing it. Steel. But you know what? The bearing, I don't know if that's in the ideal place right there. What do you think? Well, or should it be closer to the edge or should it be further I, I, I think I think like just having it like almost like right on the edge is probably more ideal. But of course, the closer you are to the edge, the more likely to go over to yet over the edge. So... I don't know, I think on commercial bandsaws they're about this far. I would, I think ideally the bearing would be just a little bit over this way, a little bit further. Okay. Well, the thing about the particle board is it stays really flat, right? Yeah, yeah. So there was never a problem with that. And it's lighter than MDF, right? I know you used MDF. Are you using MDF for the new one? No, no, that's, I just used some shitty old plywood from the packing grade. Oh, okay. Like, it's some really shitty plywood that I'm using for the wheels. But part of that is like, you know, you don't need really good... Especially if, if you're using mostly wider blade, even if you have voids in the wheel, if you had voids in the edge of the blade, it wouldn't edge of the wheel. It would, like the, the wider the blade, the less the, the less the wheels matter as long as they're round. Yeah. Um, but I'm surprised. Yeah, like I on my first one, I had just wooden wheels, and when I put a quarter inch blade on there, I think it might have had a wider set on it than this one. I saw, I, I could tell that it was wearing into the wheel just a little bit. Well, I got a pretty thin layer of silicone mm -hmm. put on that, right? So that's taking some of it. You know what you need to put on that? Huh? PL Premium the construction piece. It's a solution for everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is John Heist's uh, homemade bandsaw, which he made that with a steel frame instead of a wooden frame. Uh, so this is all steel parts here and there. I think wood works just fine. Like, it's stiff enough. Um, what's interesting here is the wheels are just made out of cheap particle board. Um, and he's got just a layer of caulking on there, and even with a quarter-inch blade, that seems to work, which to me says particle board is actually quite an adequate material for wheels, because even though the bandsaw can have a lot of force on it, they're actually not under a whole lot of stress, these wheels, because the force is going straight along. It's totally aligned with the wheel, so that's much less stress on the material than trying to bend it. An uh, interesting detail about John's bandsaw is how the blade guard works. It slides independently on the case, but then it's got a screw on here, and that way, when the blade guides are moved up and down, the guard moves with it. This is a neat feature about John Heist's bandsaw, which is part of the table pulls out for blade changes, but also it makes it really easy to get at the bottom blade guides. And because this is a non-tilting table, he was able to put these blade guides really close to the actual top of the table.